Hi, hello. My name is Than, short for Nathaniel. Today, um, I'm finally trying the um, Chantecaille powder. The one they released last year that was originally in the um, Hummingbird packaging. Um, it's the uh, Perfect Blur Finishing Powder. And this says Flower Power, so just like referencing the collection, I guess. All the videos I've seen on this, they were all like so happy about this powder. It's like the most blurring powder ever. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Here's what it looks like. Um, I was sort of like, I think one of, the, one of the reasons I was hesitant when it was first released um, was because of the color. I thought maybe it's too dark for me, but it's actually not that bad. And it it's sort of like, blends out into like nothing. I haven't used this on my face, but at least, like you probably can't even see where I put it, or, like right here. Um, but, and when I saw this compact, I was like, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I, I need to try that. I, th I think it's time. I really love the compact though. It's so nice. So I'm trying this, yay. I'm also trying the um, Chanel Fleur de Printemps Duo Blush and Highlight. Very nice. Um, this is one that I have had my eye on for a while and it is limited edition. So I figured I, I would regret it if I didn't try it. <laughs> I got the um, Prisma Libra foundation in the shade uh, C105 because I don't know, I guess on this camera it was easier to tell, but when I was using my other shade, the lightest one, it's like N80 or something. I don't know, I felt like it was too light, but I really like the foundation. So I was like, I, I wanna give this other shade a shot and see. Um, I haven't really, I haven't worn this yet, like fully. I've just sort of like swiped it on my face and I think this is a better color for me, but we'll see. Um, I got the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brows in the shade taupe. So this is the lightest shade and I have the darkest shade black brown um, over there, but I really wanna see if this one will be better for me. It's a little bit lighter. Well, a lot bit later. Okay, the other um, brush from the Hermes Rose collection came, the blush brush. So I have that in the travel size. I have this in the travel size now. This shipped like from, I had to get it from a sep a different store because they were selling out everywhere. You know how it goes, you know how it goes. <laughs> but so they, they shipped separately. So I just got this one today. It's so soft. The reviews I was seeing were saying that they thought it was gonna be softer, but it feels like on the sides, running your fingers up like this, um, it's a little coarser. And then the tips, the tip is very soft. And you could feel it on the top too, like around the edges, like like this, that it's a little coarser, but it's super soft on the top. So yeah, and this is uh, made in France. It's by a French, a French brush maker, you know, different from all my Japanese brushes. So this is the travel size one. Actually the surface area of the travel size brush is larger than the normal brush. Uh, but this is not as dense. This isn't like super flimsy. It's it's a really good, actually I really like this. <laughs> and this one's synthetic hairs, but it's it's really, really, really soft, honestly. This one's just a little bit firmer than the travel size. But so far, I love this. I love the handle. I just think it's so cute. I'm excited. My setup is a little different today. <laughs> I'm trying something new. Um, you may notice that this is the background for my, my thumbnails. So the green wall that I usually film with is like a few feet over there, but I was like, maybe it'll look better if I film straight against the white curtain. I don't know, we're testing it out. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna prime with the uh, Bobbi Brown Vitamin Rich Face Base. Just adding a little bit more right to this part. I have like really um, dry patches right here on my forehead and here on my cheek sometimes. My upper lip gets dry too. While that sinks in, I'm gonna um, see how this new shade in the Legendary Brows works on me. And this is the shade Taupe. Yeah, I, I think this color does suit me better. It's just not as like bold, you know? This makes it, I feel like it is a little more natural, but it still like makes a difference, you know? So here's both the shades next to each other. This one is N80 and this one is C105. 
and they're very similar. Um, C105 is of course just a little bit more pink and maybe like, you know, the slightest hair deeper, but here, let's put them on my hand. So C105 and 80, C105 and 80. I actually think maybe if I mix them too, they would make like the perfect color, but we'll just go with C105 for today. Sorry, I'm always flipping you guys off. <laughs> I don't know why I always use my middle finger to, you know, dab things on my face, but I do. This really is such a gorgeous sheer foundation, honestly. Gonna add a little bit of this um, Live Tinted Hue Stick under my eyes. And this is in the shade Perk. Dior Forever Skin Crud Concealer in the shade 00N. I'm just gonna set with the um, Kosas uh, Cloud Set Powder in the shade Airy and the um, Chikahodo Z11, I think it is. I lied, I'm switching to the um, Beautylish Hachiko Kabuki brush. Love. I'm gonna contour with the um, Romand Better Than Shape. I think it's in Oat to Green. And then this one is, or is it Oat Gray? It might be Oat Gray. And then this is the um, Shakuta angled face brush, of course. Now, let's try this blush. I'm excited. So there's the highlight side and the blush side. But honestly, I'm not sure if this highlight is much of a highlight on me or it's more of like a... Actually, that highlight shears out very nicely. So I think I will try that for my highlight. Yay, cool. So the highlight looks sort of like opaque when you swatch it, but it shears out and is like more of like a sheer little wash. And then the blush is on this side. So highlight, blush. Okay, so let's try the Hermes brush here and the blush side. I love this design too, the flowers. And this is the first time I'm using a Chanel blush. And I also did just get um, some of the, a couple of the blushes in the original formula, but in that limited edition red packaging, because because they reformulated them, I'm like, I really want to try the original that everyone loves. So I got those ones. <laughs> Anyways, that's coming soon. For now, here we go. It's sort of like, it's like a uh, beautiful coral. It's like a nice coral shade. I really like it. It's nice. This brush feels really soft and, and it, may, it feels really nice putting the products on with it, honestly. Because it has that sort of like firmness, it just feels, it's really satisfying and feels nice on the cheeks. Yeah, this is definitely like a buildable blush. It doesn't give you like, instant pigment, which is good for most people <laughs> and me, you know. I'm gonna go in with the um, Tom Ford bronzer in Terra, Sonya G Sculpt One. taking the one size powder. Now, 
let's try buffing with this powder. I'm just like obsessed with this compact. I want like a sweater that is basically this. <laughs> Gonna go in with the Sonya G Face One. And just take some of it on my sponge and press it into the center. Let's see how it blurs. I do feel like when I pressed it into the center of my face, it did add some color. Like it's yellow under here now. So I wouldn't really use it in that way. <laughs> Maybe with this brush, if I just... No, it does, it did, did add a color. I don't think it's bad when I'm swirling it like this. But it does add a little bit of color, so I wish they would have made a lighter shade too. I'm going to take the Chikahota Z11 and the one size powder again and just sort of lightly brighten this more. Counteract the yellowness. No, I can't really tell right now. Things are like blurred necessarily. Things that overall look really smooth though, and I think that once I do spray my face later, it will melt everything in. Now, let me try this highlight side of this compact. I'm going at the Wayne Goss Airbrush. This is like my favorite highlighter brush. Yeah, this definitely works for me as a highlight. You can't see like a cast or anything as far as I can tell. And it's really pretty. Okay, for the eyes, I'm gonna use the quad that's in this Tom Ford um, so, uh, Rose Cashmere palette. I'm gonna take this color, more neutrally brown, with the Sunji Worker 3. Now I'm just flipping over the brush and going into the lightest shade up in the corner here, or down, I guess, <laughs> you know. <laughs> now I'm taking that brown again with the rougher 26. Gonna add some of this uh, rare beauty lip balm, rare beauty lip balm <laughs> in nearly neutral. Okay, I'm just going in with the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. Okay, I feel like my lashes look weird today. They might look weird every day, but especially today. <laughs> so I just sprayed my face with the Round Around Green Tea Soothing Mist. And um, before I do the zoom in, I want to add just a little bit of this topper shade from Soleil Diver. I just love this shade. It just like takes any look a step further, you know? Cause it's so sparkly. I wish there were more of this particular formula or this particular style of shade in his palettes. I haven't found, I think this is the only one I have that is sort of like this. Or maybe I have other ones that kind of feel like this. It's a little bit drier than the others, this particular shade, um, but it's more glittery. I think I do have some, but the other ones have actual like color where this is just more of like a glittery wash. Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> I, I love it. <laughs> okay, let's zoom in. Let's start with this foundation shade. So far, love it. Um, I'm gonna have to see what it looks like on camera and in pictures and stuff, but in person, I do think it matches me. So, yay. 
this powder, I'm not honest, honestly not sold on yet. <laughs> like everything looks nice, I guess. Not Maybe I just put too much on the sponge when I did it in the center, you know? Cause it's not looking the greatest, but it doesn't look terrible. And it buffed into the rest of my face pretty nicely. At least from what I can tell. <laughs> and the compact, honestly, I would get it just for the compact. Like there could be any kind of powder in here. <laughs> um, this Chanel blush is stunning. I love it. The flower um, design is already starting to sort of, I mean, I've only used it once. I've swatched it a couple times and it's already starting to like dull. So that's sad. I might just have to use it in like one spot. <laughs> <laughs> so that the flower stays intact. But I'm excited to see how this formula compares to um, their baked formula. And then I might in the future get one of the new formulation of their regular blushes, just to, you know, have them in my brain. Um, the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brows, amazing. Definitely best brow gel that I've ever used. I almost forgot um, the brush. So this brush, I really, really like, honestly. It's so nice. It's, it is very soft. It's just coarser on the sides. And then it's 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 very soft at the uh, tips at the end here. And then I just wanted to compare it quickly to the um, Shakuta Angled Face Brush. Um, the Shakuta Angled Face Brush, they're almost the same size. Um, this is a little bit more like, like densely packed or it's, it's um, what would, what would this be? Is it crimped? No, or the ferrule seems like it is um, pinching this a little bit tighter than how this is set in this brush. And it's a little bit um, softer all the way around. And not as, yeah, not as dense, just a very slight difference. Oh, there was one more thing. There was one more thing, um, this blush. When I first saw it, another reason I didn't get it um, is because I was thinking that it was similar to this. This is the Good Health Great Wealth Lunar New Year blush from MAC. And it's also like a duo type of situation. And I felt like I would get a similar look with both. And you sort of do. They look kind of different in the pan, but it's similar vibes, you know? So I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it, but these have shimmers. So this is all matte, I believe. Wait, or does it have a little shimmer? Okay, no, so this this one actually does have a little shimmer in here. Huh. So, you know, they're pretty similar. Obviously this one is way more affordable and I really, really like this, this honestly. If this is still available, I would probably get this over the Chanel because this is more affordable actually this packaging is heavier. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I like both of these, but I think I do like the MAC one a little more, actually. Oh, sorry. And I think that is everything new that I tried. I'm pretty sure. I hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry about there only being two videos last week and my late start to this week, but we're here now, so there we go. <laughs> Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and ring the bell so you're notified every single time that I upload a new video. Uh, follow my Instagram, Prettier Than Graham. That's where you'll get <laughs> updates and things for me or maybe exclusive um, behind the scenes type of things, possibly. So tomorrow, which is Tuesday, with the day this is going up, um, the Sephora Squad finalists are announced. So who knows? I might be, <laughs> I might be in that. I have no idea. We'll see. I, I think, okay, so the last time I checked, I had like 25 testimonials, but I, I haven't checked in weeks so i don't know it could be more than that but even if i don't get in <laughs> thanks so much to everyone that wrote one and that sent me it i can't see it unless you send it to me so i don't know like what you said so just thanks everyone that wrote one <laughs> so wish me luck we'll, well i guess we'll, we'll you'll know by now you know anyways if you want to know if i got it into the final round of the <laughs> sephora squad selection process then follow my Instagram. Again, it's prettier than Graham. Okay, okay, goodbye.